How's it going guys? This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get colored rings for your server. Um, you need some plugins first. You need essentials. Essentials chat. Permissions 3x or 2.7. Um, map for permissions x, I don't know. I haven't used permissions x yet. I'm still converting my files over to that. And then you might you might as well get set rank. Because set rank is going to let you change the ranks easier. So, let's get started. First, you need to go to your permissions file your world that you want to edit and it groups now if you don't have this filled out go learn how to set permissions because this is another tutorial within itself um, but first I'll show you to get the colors okay so under info you can want your prefix on your prefix there's the color this color right here this three is going to be like a darkish blue and then this right here is going to turn this color right here into like a dark blue then and f is going to be is your white color and the after that is going to be uh, white so that right there will make your name white that's the prefix. Then the suffix is going to make this right here. It's going to be another darkish bluish. And this is going to turn this right here into a dark bluish color. And this right here is going to make your normal chat. Yeah, this right here is make your normal chat white again. So that's right there. That's how you set the colors. And um, the color chart is right here. You can pause the video and look at it, but I'll, I'll link this in the description so you guys can get this. It's, this right here is the only colors that I know of that exist in Minecraft. There might be more colors that I don't even know about. This is the chart I've been using for, since I started doing the servers and even before doing servers I would do is just joke around in the chat system. So once that's done, you need to know how to handle your your colored uh, your prefixes because not, not, the game is recognized prefixes to start off with. So we need to go permissions. Hey, not permissions, you go back to your plugins file. You want essentials. It says just chat. Now, my essentials chat version is a lot older than my is my essentials version. Reason why is because the recent version of essentials chat adds the prefix world before you write your prefix, and the prefix world is, represents the world that you're in. So if you say as in my flat grass, it would say a flat grass before there. So I had to go to the um, older version. I think I'm using the 2.5 version of essentials chat. I might might have been fixed by the time this video is up. I don't know. But right now, right now I'm using the older version of so plugin and enable it. Enable it. So we're on our essentials file, our essentials file. Click on config, and we're going to go to the very top. Um, first thing you see, change display name. If you want to use essentials chat, this is true. Is there things out there like iChat? You know, if you want to use iChat, that's fine. But this plugin applies to the essentials way, and I do it. Like iChat is a whole other plugin within itself. So we're going to go down. And we're gonna see right here. Send the chat. Um, radius. If you want to raise how, how far your chat goes, this might be good if you're doing a big ass server. Personally, I don't like. I Google chat all the time. There's times where we should have it, but it's not really a way around it. It's either it is or isn't global chat. So, so yeah. And then the format. This is very important. So your display name will display the prefixes, the suffixes, and your name. Now this would come the message. If I had this, this display name, your name would not show up. Um, different formats here, they're all different things. But see right here, this right here is a lot of central chat is messed up right now because in the plugin somewhere it doesn't do, do get rid of world name. So this is why I use the older version of Essentials Chat. So that's the same thing I count of. And after you get all that set up, you should hopefully hopefully you did it right and you should get something like this. When my server start up, you know, Minecraft up. And I'll show you how to use the set rank real quick too. Set rank, um, well you just just plug it into the plugins file. Personally, I don't like game about admins using that file and using that plugin. But if you're doing an RP thing, you want people to go to certain factions, you have faction leaders, you can give them the permission node just for that rank. So we go to the test server. And everything's formatted correctly. There you go, I got my colored uh my colored rank. And so, uh, change, do you want to change the rank? I'm going to type in slash set. Uh, no, slash rank, actually. That's, that's rank, so I want them to be guest. Now my guest rank called default. And that would do my name. No. My name first. Then the rank name, so default. And hopefully, yep. Uh, your rank names are case, not case sensitive, but they're uh, spelt sensitive, so I can't shorten it like I can do with this. Here at rank, Tim, God. And it would find my name and do that. See if I can do slash rank Tim G O, it will recognize it. And that's this quick tutorial. Um, hope this helped you. Love you guys out on how to do colored ranks. They add a nice little expect 
little hierarchy to your server. And make sure people work with standard servers, that's something I work, work to, work towards and achieve. And please rate and subscribe.